Hello everyone and welcome to Islet Outlet CKC's Lancaster virtual show. I'm Janet and I'm super excited to be with you today. This is going to be 30 minutes of card making fun and just like we would on the show floor, I'm going to display lots of card ideas to inspire you and show you how to use our washi, brads, bling and flowers. Get eligible for a prize pack giveaway. Enter by giving your brad ideas right here in the comments. One winner from all the comments will be selected and notified. Stay with me until the end because I'll be giving a sneak peek of our newest Brad release and it's perfect for summer and masculine themed cards. It's time to change the camera to my desk now so we can get started. I'd like to tell you about our show special. It's 20% off everything including sale and clearance. Just use CKC20. This sale is good through July 26th, so be sure to get over to our store at islatoutlet.com before the deadline. One of our most popular products is washi tape. We have over 800 styles on the website and we get more all the time. Here's a photo of a few of our newest washi tapes and you can always see what's new by clicking on the decorative washi tape category at the store. So you may wonder, what can you do with it? Well, there's so many uses for washi tape, but one that never fails is to use it as backgrounds or even mats for cards. Here's a great example from Lauren Burgold. This is a card base with two backgrounds made of washi tapes that color coordinate and then she shows how you can use an ATC sized card to create a bigger one by just putting that on top. This is our vacuum and broom brads. For you ATC traders, wouldn't this be a great way to trade your cards plus it would protect the card while it was in the mail. The brads used here are the brush and hair dryer brads and the computer and headphone brads. These printables come from Tailored Expressions and are free. They're called Big Grumpy COVID-19 Sentiments if you want to look them up. This one from Don Mercedes it uses our star foil washi tape for the background and gold glitter washi as an accent. The brads are the wizard hat and lightning bolts brad, the wizard set with the wand, the glasses, and the scarf brads, and the book brads, and the sketch doll brads. She also includes some glitter star enamel dots. Here are two more great examples of our wizard theme cards from Lauren. And she used our wizard hat and lightning bolt set, but featured our wizard's hats a little more than the previous card did. And then we also have the wizard set, which includes the wand, the glasses, and scarves. And she's also included the sketched owl brads. There are also several different foiled star and glitter washi tapes that she used here as background and as accents. The pearls shown as like a magic spell sort of image is actually our swirl bling. And she's also included a few of our star sequins. So overall, very nice cards with that magical theme for you. Here's another from Lauren showing our book washi tape as the mat for both the bookmark and the matching card. She shows another use for the wizard set with the glasses on this one, plus she uses the book brads and mini round brads for accents. Next up are two cards using our sloth and koala brads. These two cards are great examples of using washi tape for a background. This one uses our wide male washi tape and it also includes our male brads and sloth brads. This is our coordinating sloth washi tape and Lauren's got the sloths hanging onto a sewn cord, but it could also be done with a marker. Here's another great example using our shell washi as a background plus our compass brad, sandcastle brad, and our sun and cloud set. And for the final touch she included the palm tree brads. I've shown a few examples of using washi tape now, so I want to do a quick demo of how this works. I'm going to use one of my favorites, which is the brick washi tape to show how this is done. I've got a card panel here and let's say if I wanted to make a brick wall or a road, I could take the washi tape like I'm doing and apply strips of it until the area I need is covered. You can see I have the first row in place now and I'm going to apply a second strip. I'm doing this upside down just so I can see it better when I'm doing it on camera. But you'll want to in some cases offset the washi tape pattern like I've done here. Sometimes you can just do it straight one on top of the other and it makes no difference and then other times it helps to offset it just to get a little bit of pattern variation. So I'm getting my third layer down now and this will create enough space to make the area I need for the wall that I have in mind for my card. And I think this really looks great. If you didn't know better, you would not be able to tell it's not patterned paper. Here's a great example of using that brick washi tape in a scene. Here Lauren used it for the wall. 
She also took advantage of the beer washi tape to create kind of this beer or bar scene. And she also used our wood washi tape to create the countertop. And of course she's using our beer brads here as well. Great little scene that she put together, just using washi tape. Here's a little closer look at that wood grain washi tape and you can see how great that one is. And this is one you can just put one on top of the other, by the way, no offsetting required. Add some brick or some other patterned washi in the background and you've got a great scene started. This super clever card from our design team also makes good use of the wood washi and the book washi to create a library scene. Also added are our selfie brads, computer and headphone brads, and our book brads. I've got two more cards following that library or reading kind of theme. Here Lauren has made good use out of the book washi tape as well as the coordinating book brads. These come in some different colors and on the one on the left she's got the brads sitting on their backs and the one on the right she's got them sitting upright. Both are great looks. She's also used heart enamel dots. For the dog lovers out there, I've got two cute ones for you. First up is this card by Lorne. It uses our geometric washi for the mat and the brads are called Long Dog. In this photo, you can see a similar card, but it uses the paw washi tape as the background. If you like these dogs, I've got a shopping tip for you. These are on clearance, so with the sale discount, you can pick these up for 71 cents. So go get them because there's not a bunch left. Next, I'm gonna show you some washi tape accent ideas. These both feature our new dino brads. This one uses copper glitter washi to create a mat. Now, I think this is a brilliant thing to do because the tape gives the look without the waste. And Don uses several other washi tapes, including the flower washi to create the sediment scene. I love how she has one of the bone eyelets hidden in the sediment. She also uses some perfectly color coordinated matte enamel brads and some bling. On this one, she used the geometric washi as a landing place for the dinos on the tag. She added the sun and palm tree brads, plus some pearl bling and clear sequins to finish this one off. It, they both have a really cool look to them. Here's another fun gift idea. Susan Creech made this bookmark using our book washi again and also our dino and palm tree brads. How cute is that? This is another cutie from Dawn. She uses farm washi tape on pink cardstock, and she left a strip of cardstock showing between the washi strips to give it a more stripy look. Love that. She tied it in with a strip of thin pink washi at the top, and the brads she used are the pig brads, chicken brads, and the chick brads. She also used our clear sequins to add some additional shine. Here are three wonderful cards using the two safari washi tapes in our store. These also feature our jungle brads and our lion tiger zebra brad set, so you can get a whole jungle of things with just those two sets. These also use a little white space between the strips of washi to create a designer striped paper effect. Here's another variation of the jungle card, and this includes our jungle mix brads, which has the ape, giraffe, and elephant in it, as well as our lion tiger and zebra brad set, and the Eagle Brad set just makes a nice little touch in that sky. She also uses several washi tapes. We have our Safari washi tape on that tag, and then also green and white and black striped washi uh, on the bottom of the card. Here are six note cards I made, and I used the clear and pink bling to wrap around the card fronts. And guess what guys, this is not pretty botanical paper that costs a fortune. This is one of our new washi tapes called Wide Flower Washi Tape. It has six floral scenes which I put on white cardstock and then cut with a die. This is a whopping two and an eighth inches wide. As an accent, I also included butterflies, one each on this card from our Butterfly Brad set. Here are two more cuties. Susan Matthews made this uber cute encouragement card for a young lady or a lady with a young heart, right? And she used our unicorn brads and clear diamond bling. This card has super shine combined with all of this and the pattern paper. Now the next one I want to show you is by Susan Creech and it shows off our chick brads and our green and yellow heart enamel dots. So you see hearts definitely don't need to be red or pink. I enjoy how she used the footprints meeting in the middle. Really, really cute. 
Next, I want to show you some humorous quarantine cards. This one by Susan Matthews is so funny. Here the animals are practicing social distancing as they wait for their vet appointments. She has used deer brads, zebra brads, kitty brads, horse brads, and our puppy brads. She used thin yellow washi to put the wait here signs on the sidewalk. Brick washi tape would work well as a sidewalk too. Here's another funny quarantine card by Susan Creech. So if 2020 were a pinata, I think it would be a beehive full of angry bees. I love this kind of meme style card. And this one features our mini bee brads. You could use a stamp or any beehive die cut to make this one. This one is so great for the littles in our life. Susan Matthews explains what Zoom is while showing a bunch of cute kids having an online dance party. She uses our butterfly washi, our building block washi, chevron washi, and our glitter heart washi tape as backgrounds. She's also got the computer and headphone brads as well as our music note brads. This one is so perfect for our times. Here's another great one by Susan Matthews, and she uses our responder brads, the tractor brads, the tool brads, as well as our nursing brads with that stethoscope at the end. She also used clear strip bling along with silver glitter to fill in on the sides of those letters. And this is a really great way to show you how you can combine poetry and other sentiments to create a perfect card for the person you're giving it to. This one by Susan Creech takes on the mask issue and it uses the mini ant brads as, and it says you should wear a mask when you leave the anthill and the other says I'll be fine, I have antibodies. This card by Don features our first responder brads again and she also uses a strip of foil washi tape as a place for the vehicles to land on so they're not just floating in thin air. And since we're seeing less of each other in person, this would be a good one to make to send to someone. It says, all my friends live in my computer and I'm glad you're one of them. This one is by Dawn and it features our computer and headphone brads as well as our heart brads. And you can see a little bit of that black glitter washi tape used in the background as well. And guess what? The pattern paper in the background is not paper. It's our math washi. This is a new one from Lauren featuring our coordinating llama brads and washi tape. It's a clever wordplay to mean a few things like, yeah, I'm going to stay or I must stay six feet away. For those of you familiar with yoga, it can also be a wordplay on namaste, the Hindu greeting used at the beginning or end of yoga classes. It can also just be a silly way to use llamas to define the six foot limit for social distancing. Either way, this one is a lot of fun. People have been asking about nursing brads, so I'm going to show you this one as my last quarantine card today. It features our pink, red, and white heart brads and our nurse brads. So if you have a special nurse in your life, you should get these brads and make them a thank you or encouragement card like no other they will ever receive from anyone else. Let's switch gears a little now and focus on cards that always give us card makers trouble, masculine cards. I have a bunch to show you that can be used for thank you, birthday, or Father's Day cards. First up is a card by Susan Creech, which features our classic car brads. And guess what? The map background is our washi tape. This would work for every occasion, so it would be good to make and keep in your stash for a card emergency. Here's another masculine card featuring our classic car brads and our compass brads. Lauren cleverly uses an assortment of washi tapes and torn paper strips to create a background. Here she uses our map washi, our brick washi, and even some copper foil washi. It's a great look. If you have a handyman in your life, these two ideas will be perfect. The first on the left features our screw brads. The pattern tool background in this card is not paper. Once again, it's our tool washi tape. The one on the right has our tool brads, saw brads, toolbox and nail brads, and our screw brads. Don also used two strips of measuring tape washi on this card. Just change up the sentiments on both of these to birthday or thank you messages and you've got perfect cards for the guys. So I thought I'd take a second and show you a closer look at our measuring tape washi. You just saw how great it was with our tool brads, but it's also great with our sewing brads. So here Don has used this tape at a diagonal for just a different look on a panel along with the dress form, the thread, and the scissor brad sets. And people ask from time to time about sewing related card themes and so I wanted to make sure I got a chance to show you this. Next up are two cards I've made. The left is good for a music lover. It uses our record vinyl brads, the computer and headphone brads, and our music note brads. 
strips of thin glitter washi tape accent this card in the background and I just want to promote that the washi tape we have does not shed at all you'll never get you know random glitter everywhere this is another beer related card it says wish you were beer and inside it says I really miss you I used our beer Brad said here and it has both the bottles and the beer mug Here's another one by Lauren Burgle that features our records or albums set in the two different size records as well as our music note brads and our computer and headphone brads. She also added some star sequins in various colors and gold washi tape as a mat in the background. This is great for a teenage boy I think. These next two are a hoot. Here we have ties made of various washi tapes hanging on our hanger brads and our wood hanger brads. These are very simple to make, but if you don't want to fussy cut them, you can make yourself a template. Then just trace your template on the washi tape, cut, and place them on your card. It's super simple and they're really going to love it. And here's another one for the guy in your life who really enjoys getting outside and fishing. This one features both our fishing pole brads and our fish brads. If you have any fisherman in your life of any age, or maybe even a fisher girl, you need to get these sets for cards and scrapbook layouts. Here are two cards from Dawn and she's used green and green pattern flowers to create the leaves in this card. She also used them as little accents on this one. These cards feature our sloth and koala brads and our chick brads, mini ladybug brads, and this beautiful strip of pearl and pink jewel bling. Okay, so now let's go through a few cards by theme. First up are a couple of donut cards. This one by Don is pretty cute. I do think the center of a donut is 100% fat free. <laughs> and it uses our yummy looking donut brads and pink pearl bling. Now this one is by Susan Creech and she's made a donut box to house the donuts and it's very 3D. Isn't that cool? I'm telling you, they're making me hungry. So let's change from sugar treats to another vice. How about wine? This next one from Lauren is pretty funny as well. I'm sure many of you agree that wine is the answer, but maybe you have forgotten the question. If so, this one is for you. Our wine washi is used on the bottom half of the card and it also has our wine brads and our grape brads. This next one combines a little fantasy and wine. I did this one and it uses our wine washi as a border and then combines our unicorn and wine brads to make a new creature called a winicorn. This also uses the grape brads and a few clear sequins. I'm just gonna say that I want to believe in winicorns more than I wanna believe in unicorns. Here's another wine inspired card. And this one is by Lauren and uses our wine brads, which includes the two wine glasses you see there, and also uses our grape brads. Toward the bottom is our coordinating wine washi tape, and at the top you'll see our pearl heart bling. Well, after wine, you might like coffee, so I think it's time to look at coffee themed brads. First up are these two cards, which feature our cat washi and our eye washi as backgrounds. These are the same sentiments, but everything is arranged a little bit differently for two unique looks. While we're on the subject of coffee, I thought I would just show you a couple holiday related cards. This one features our holiday coffee cup in the center there. It also comes in red. And then you'll also see that pretty bling. That's our holiday bling. And you can use it as uh, little accents like this, or you can use the whole thing as it comes in strips. Also, you'll see some washi tape. There's the Merry Christmas washi tape down at the bottom, along with black and white striped washi tape. And here is another one of the holiday cards using our holiday coffee cup brads. And you see every one that's included in the set on this one. Also included are the holly brad sets. And there's a few washi tapes used here on the uh, backgrounds as well. Overall, this is a very simple and quick card you can make for a coffee lover in your life. Here's another coffee theme card from Lauren using our coffee brads. She used our colorful donut washi as the background. I can so relate to this one. I cannot start my day without a good dose of strong coffee. I'm telling you, there is a theme of washi tape for almost anything in the world you can think of. If you've been to our shows, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I also want to let you know that with our discount, our washi tape price is exactly as the same as it's discounted during the shows. 
So if you've been eating donuts, coffee, and wine, you might end up making a trip to the dentist. These cards crack me up every time I see them. Get it? Crowns crack? Ah, I try. Lauren did a great job making these meme style cards. Anyway, these are our new Apothecary Bottles Washi and our Scrumptious Macaroon Washi. The crowns come from our Crown and Tiara Brads. If you like the sentiments, check out our freebies page on the blog after we're done to pick up these sentiments in horizontal and vertical format. Then you can decorate them any way you like. So it's the middle of July and often at this time of the year, our minds turn to the beach. And whether you can go to the beach or not, you can at least create a beachy scene like this in your cards. This says, happiness comes in waves and it's created by Lauren. She used our shell brads and also our seashore brads, which include sand dollars and starfish. And she also put in corner shell brads. I love how she created the waves by just tearing the paper so that the white edges showed. Great technique. Next, I have some cute little gift cards from Lauren, and she's included the Bluebird and Robin set on these, as well as the Cardinal and Profile Cardinal sets. And she's also used white, green, and patterned green flowers to accent around the middles of them. She really thought outside of the box a little bit here with the flowers around it, and it gives it a special feel. She also used those flowers as little accents in the nests too. This one sure has a nice tropical summer feel to it, doesn't it? Lauren has put this one together using our cloud washi tape at the top, torn to look like a cloud. And then she's also used our sun and cloud brads, the rainbow from the unicorn and rainbow brad set. And of course, our fun flamingo brad sets down there on the sand. I know there's a lot of flamingo lovers out there, so this one is a great example of something you can do with your flamingo brads. I've got a couple late summer cards to show you next. These include our sunflower brads and coordinating sunflower glitter washi tape. This is also quite a wide washi tape at an inch and an eighth wide and is beautifully glittered. And remember, the glitter doesn't rub off, so it's a great way to get some glitter in your cards without the mess. There are a couple other coordinating uh, washi tapes that were used here as accents too. In addition, we have butterfly brads and there is the swirl bling in yellow, which really adds something special to this card. Here are a pair of really fun dress cards, which have become very popular to make. They both feature our wooden hanger brads. And the one on the left has used the strip bling and clear to line the bottom. And then on the top part of the dress, we've got some additional fancy bling cut to fit just uh, to work on the top of that dress. It looks really pretty. The one on the right includes, includes our sunglasses brads and also our heart brads. Here's a nice masculine card for a little bit of a change of pace. And this one includes our pine tree brads and our bear brads. Susan Creech has done a great job on this one, and you could easily change up the sentiment to be more of a birthday card or a thank you card as well. Here's a great summer birthday card idea for you. We have our rooster set, our chicken set, also our cow and goat brad set, and our pig and sheep brad set. And this is a very simple card, but one that is a lot of fun. This is a pretty floral card by Susan Matthews and it features our paper flowers in red. And she's also used the long strip fancy bling, which you'll see at the top of the card. And I wanted to get a chance to show you how beautiful that could be. It would be great on wedding cards as well. Here's another feminine card from Dawn and it features our shoe and purse brads. She also used the all dressed up washi with the silver foil washi tape. This is our thin foil washi, and she carried it inside too. So this card is such a great one for the teenager or young lady in your life. I love this quote by Marilyn Monroe, give a girl the right shoe and she will conquer the world. Yep, I think that's true. Wouldn't you agree, ladies? Here's another fun one by Dawn for the summer, and it includes our sun and cloud brads, our sunglass brads, the balloons, the bluebird and robin brads, our sunflower brads and the mini ladybug brads. And it just has such a fun and happy look to this card. 
She's even included our newest washi tape, which is our bike washi. It all just goes together so nicely. I would be remiss if I didn't include a little bit of Christmas in July in this presentation. And I wanted to show you three of our most popular glitter washi tapes. They are just gorgeous, like this one, which is our absolute most favorite. It's about an inch and an eighth wide, and it's called Wide Winter Washi. Here's a card used with it, and it's got our cardinals, holly brads, snowflake bling, and some clear and pearl bling. And it's just beautiful on any kind of holiday or winter card. I'm going to show you two more real quick. And I apologize for the camera having trouble with the glitter, but anyway, uh, this is called Glitter Tall Tree Washi. It's also very popular. It's also an inch and an eighth, approximately tall, and it's very pretty. And then this one is called Glitter Star Washi. And this is great for holiday cards, but also for any kind of galaxy star type backgrounds. If you recall the wizard cards I showed you earlier, one of them used this as a background and it's just gorgeous on it. So who said that the holidays have to be wintry? Here's an elegant tropical Christmas card made with our shell brads, our corner shell brads, and she's added our nutcrackers and blue pearl bling to this as well. If you wanted, you could have substituted the nutcrackers for a few of our ornament brads or added a few more of those ornament brads in to give it even more a holiday feel. Here's that same elegant beachy holiday theme with just a slightly different twist. This features a pretty spray for the holiday season. It's full of our corner shell brads, our shell brads, some pretty snowflake brads, and also a little white pearl bling nestled in with everything else. And don't forget about making tags for your holiday gifts. These are three simple tags and so quick to make because all it requires are a few different washi tapes, most of which I've showed you already, along with some brads and bling. The left tag has our snowflake brads, the middle one has our snowflake bling, and on the right are our sleigh brads. Here's just the cutest little stocking stuffer, or you could put it on a package. This one's by Lauren Burgold, and she's decorated up a hand sanitizer as a giveaway. And it says, don't forget your hand sanitizer. And Santa says, yes, dear. This is so adorable. What we've got are the Mr. and Mrs. Claus brad sets, the sleigh brads, the winter fir tree brad, and our snowflake brads on this one. I love this little card made with the Santa and Mrs. Claus brads as well. This is by Susan Creech, and Mrs. Claus says, I've let that suit out as much as I can, Santa. Go easy on the candy canes. And he says, yes, dear, I will. But even though he's complying, he's still dreaming about that candy cane. So cute. Here are a few more tag ideas. The one on the left features our holly brad. The one in the middle has our pine cone brads, and the one on the right has our moose and our pine tree brad set. My last holiday idea for you is actually a decorative item. This is a frame that Susan Creech made. She printed the sentiment and then she added our holiday light brads to it. This would be really cute to put anywhere in your home during the holiday season. I promised to show you our newest release and I think you're going to love them. It's our new grilling brad set. It includes aprons and grills in different colors. And this is a great embellishment set for the backyard chefs that we know and love. And since we're always trying to give you options, we purposely made one apron orange so it could be combined with our tool brads to represent a certain hardware store. I just love that. Here's a card using one of our new grills along with lots of other masculine sets, including our fishing brads, camping brads, our shoe brads, and summer tree brads. In fact, we've got your guy covered with whatever he may be into. Cars, trucks, motorcycles, football, baseball, basketball, even beer. And speaking of beer, remember this one that I showed you earlier? Well, I added the grill and also the apron to this card and I think it looks even better. So again, go check those out. They're brand new in the store today. So one more time before I'd go, I'd like to remind you about the show special. It's 20% off everything using code CKC20, and this is good through July 26th, so do take advantage of that. 
Well, that'll wrap up our presentation for you today. Please be sure to enter to win our prize pack. It's not too late to type in a comment with your Brad ideas to enter. One person will be chosen as the winner and you never know, you may see your idea come to life in the future. Also, please remember to use the code CK20HOLIDAY for 20% off everything. Thanks again for joining us today. Have fun shopping and we'll see you soon. Bye.